everybody. My lovely, lovely imps. Regarding a a a discourse that you rapscallions have spawned all across the internet. Uh, uh, we're going to be talking a little bit today about the word retard. Uh, as many of you know, uh, uh, I am retarded. That's it. That's the segment, everybody. There you go. All right, everybody. It was a great stream tonight, uh, and I'll, I'll see you all very soon. Don't forget to press the like button. Uh, don't per forget to uh, press subscribe. You guys, uh, thank you for being here and for supporting me, but uh, no, I'm just kidding. That's actually not the end of the segment. Um, but uh, but let's be real here for a second, okay? Uh, the this, this stream title is, is retard, okay? Um, there's been a lot of discourse about this particular word. Um... Uh, on the internet lately, and I want to talk about it. Um, so I want to I want to kind of do a little bit of uh, of, of id poll here, okay? Uh, I was called a retard my entire life for various reasons. Um, I was never in special ed when I was uh, in school, um, uh, although I was put into so-called gifted and talented programs at schools, which were basically. Um, they were basically a separate uh, channel for autistic and ADHD kids who weren't uh, the biggest like pr troublemakers in class. Um, whereas at least uh, if you go and look at these programs, a lot of times they were designed to basically take kids um, who uh, were struggling socially uh, but not struggling scholastically and put them in a separate room. Um, whereas, of course, special ed was often used uh, for uh, kids who were struggling scholastically, but not necessarily socially, sometimes socially as well, but usually if you were struggling scholastically. Um, and it was a kind of, it, it's kind of a complicated thing. And a lot of people who are at, from outside of the US don't really know or have never really heard of these gifted and talented things. Um, there was many different names for them in the US, but they were a, pro a program that appeared around the 90s and early 2000s and then disappeared shortly after. A lot of schools no longer have them um, because they were, they had very middling results. Um, anyway, uh, I was diagnosed uh, with ADHD uh, pretty severe ADHD in adulthood. Um, when I was younger, I grew up in a uh, anti-psychology Christian cult. Um, the cult that I grew up in uh, and my family was so uh, opposed to psychology that they didn't even believe in therapists. Um, none of my family members were like allowed to see therapists until uh, significantly later on in my life when people had started to leave the cult. And as a result, there is essentially no way that I would have ever been diagnosed with ADHD when I was younger, despite the fact that I showed a lot of the signs. Also, there's no chance that I would have been diagnosed with autism, even though I showed a lot of those signs as well. Um, and uh, uh, so as a result, what I'm trying to do here is point out to the fact that this is a, a word uh, that has been used against me uh, a lot in my life. Um, and also that, um, like, I, I, I believe that I would meet the criteria for what we would generally call reclaiming a slur. And we're going to talk about all of this in great depth in the coming uh, uh, section. But uh, I just wanted to get that out of the way up front, like my experience with this word, uh, my experience with um, being put into alternative tracks of education, um, and my own experience with having parents who deliberately avoided, extensively and deliberately avoided me ever being diagnosed with anything. Oh, I should also point out, um, this goes beyond any sort of learning related issues. Um, to the point that in high school, there is no ifs, ands, or buts about the fact that I had clinical depression in high school, severe clinical depression. Um, for all four years of high school, I was so severely depressed that like I thought about suicide on a, a near constant basis when I was in high school. It was um, incredibly 
incredibly difficult for me. And there was no way that I was ever going to uh, have that have a diagnosis for that because my family was deeply opposed to me ever um, having any sort of treatment for that sort of thing or even seeing somebody about it. There was just no way. Um, so uh, it does get better. Of course it gets better. It absolutely gets better. Even with no diagnosis, I held on. Even with no uh, assistance from any sort of like therapist in that way, I held on and I was able to grow. And, and as my family moved away from the church, as I personally chose to leave the church, I grew, I got a lot, uh, like my, my life got better. And I was able to deal with and cope with depression symptoms um, above and beyond um, you know, uh, like medication or anything like that. Um, thank you, Alora. I really do appreciate that a lot. Um, so I just wanted that to all be out there so that you all understand the perspective I'm coming from when we talk about this topic. Um, it's been a while since I've talked about uh, the word retard. It's been a while since I've talked about what some of you refer to as the R slur. Um, but it's also been a while since we've talked about the reclamation of slurs in general. Um, now, uh, I'm going to take just one second uh, after being incredibly vulnerable to say, please support my show. This section is absolutely going to get demonetized, and there is no chance that YouTube will give me any money for this seg segment that I'm putting a lot of work in into and also being very vulnerable for. So please consider donating either through YouTube or preferably through my website, demonmama.com forward slash subscribe or forward slash donate. Either one works, depending on what you want to do. Would deeply appreciate your support. This show is 100% viewer supported, okay? Literally, 100%. I don't get any sponsorships. I don't do any of that sort of thing. It's just a free show that is supported by the viewers. So please support me. I deeply appreciate it. And also press like on the stream, will you? I appreciate that a lot. Okay? There you go. All right. So let's talk about reclaiming slurs. Okay? And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to draw comparisons to another slur. A slur that I think we all can agree is a slur. Okay? Faggot. Okay, uh, I'm sure many of my audience, because I do have a lot of queer people in my audience, I'm sure many of you um, have had that word used against you. I'm sure you've heard that word thrown around as a pejorative. Um, and also, as you will notice in chat, you will see a lot of people volunteering themselves saying, me, that's me, that's me you're talking about when I say the word faggot. I also often uh, self-describe as a faggot or a fag or any of these other words that you hear uh, slung about uh, as a slur for trans, gay, uh, and non-conforming people. But I think we can all acknowledge that it's a slur, right? Like, um, like, like, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. We all recognize that it's a slur, that it's used in media as a slur, that it's used by politicians as a slur, and it's not very acceptable to say that word in public. Um, and the same goes, by the way, for another slur, the N-word, which obviously I'm not gonna say, I don't say the N-word at all. Um, and there's a couple of reasons for that, part of which what we're talking about here. I think, in fact, people have remarked uh, that like, um, the N-word is so, such a severe slur that people won't even say it even when they're in private and given permission to do so. Um, that it, it has that much of a cultural weight to it. Um, that, that it is so universally recognized as a hateful slur that um, people won't even use it when they're allowed to. Um, and... Uh, I say the N-word all the time because I'm black. Well, yeah. But that's the thing. See, that's that's the thing. That's the reclamation part that we're about to talk about. Um, but um, out of curiosity, um, we all recognize here that with the n with the n word in in particular, um, like that there that there's actually a distinction between the hard R and the A, like the soft A, right? Um, even among black people, uh, it is considered uh, a pretty serious thing 
to use the hard R towards someone else, right? So we, we acknowledge that there's a difference there, right? Um, reclamation has never been and isn't about using a slur against someone else. Like for example, let me let me let me just create real quick a a situation for you all to chew to like have your brains chew on real quick, okay? Imagine, okay? Imagine that there was a cop, okay? And you can imagine this cop however you want, but I want you to imagine him uh I want you to imagine him as a as a guy, okay? And I want you to imagine him uh, like hitting a, uh, like, like at a pride event. Okay. Let's say there's a pride event and the pride event turns into a protest. And this cop is, uh, hitting a gay protester and calling that gay protester a faggot while hitting him with a stick. And now I want you to, to imagine that situation. Okay. That's pretty, that's pretty severe, right? Now I want you to imagine that that cop has a husband. Has anything changed for you? Did anything about the hatefulness of that situation change at all because you know that that cop has a husband? Because for me, nothing changed even a little bit. The, a cop beating a gay person and calling them a faggot in front of everybody else is an act of humiliation and hatred even if that cop in his own private life is gay. Even if the cop that we're talking about literally looks like the cop from the village people. And I want you to imagine the same thing, okay? But this time with the N-word and with a cop. And maybe that cop is black. Did anything change when you change the skin color of the cop? Because to me, nothing changes. So reclamation of a slur, in my opinion, is often about uh, being able to take a word that is used against you and turn it into something that you take strength in. For example, when I look directly into the camera as I am right now and I say, I am proud to be a faggot. I am proud to be a tranny. Those are words that have been used unironically against me in my life many times. These words have been used as a bludgeon of hate against me in my life. Me reclaiming them, saying, yeah, so what? I am a faggot. What are you going to do about it? To me, that is what reclamation, the act of reclamation or, or a major part of reclamation looks like. It is taking a term that is used to hurt you and wielding it on your own as a signal of, of pride. Um, and I think that there are other forms of reclamation. Like for example, I think that a lot of reclamation has happened with the N-word. Um, and I think that this, like I mentioned before, that this takes two forms. Like first of all, there is a version of the N-word that, that is slightly changed, the soft A. And the soft A um, is, very, is, is treated very differently um, between basically everybody. Everybody treats the hard R. Th th that's reason why we have the term the hard R. The hard R is like, um, it, it signifies an almost a different word. Um, but uh, I want you to think about the fact that, um, that the soft A, nobody even bats an eye. If you see people with, you know, if you see black people using the soft A with one another, um, self-referentially or otherwise, no one bats an eye. But if you see a white person use that, immediately that person will be roasted. And they should be. But that does that not indicate, does that not indicate the reclamation in a certain way? Where 
wow, this word that used to be seen as an acceptable slur to put someone else down is now seen as a taboo. It has been changed from a thing that can be used against black people to a thing that black people can use uh, uh, freely amongst themselves with rules that they define that black people got to decide the difference between the soft A and the hard R, and they also got to determine the rules of, uh, sort of collectively, the rules of using it. Does that make sense? And the same thing goes uh, for faggot. Um, and also, you could even argue that queer is a perfect example of this. Let me, Im I want you to imagine um, if I am talking to my audience and I say, my lovely queers, let us stand together in strength. That has a lot of different, that is a very, very different uh, read than if, say, uh, I don't know, Donald Trump walked up and said, you're a bunch of queers. Right? Completely different context. Despite us saying, uh, you know, despite me walking up and saying, we're all a bunch of queers here, let's stand together versus Donald Trump saying you're a bunch of queers because you'll notice that one is being used inclusively. One is being used to take strength together to call for togetherness in some way or another. And the other is, uh, you know, is, is that was not a good Trump impression, but please, can we can you have a break for just one second? Jesus Christ. Uh, and the other one is is being used as a, a, a marker of separation. It is saying it is creating an us versus them. And of course, this brings us to the word retard. Now, many of you will know if you've been watching my content for a long time. I know there's a lot of people here who haven't been. If you're here, you should subscribe and you should ring the bell because quite frankly, I put out some pretty based content. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, you should subscribe. But um, I, I don't use the R slur on my stream basically ever. Today is literally the most that I have ever used uh, the word retard um, in ever, in, in my entire stream history. You can go scrub through the VODs and you might find one or two examples in the entire history of my channel of me uh, self-referring as a retard. And like literally, for example, when I did the um, when I did the uh, the the autism test and I fucked up the autism test four times in a row live on stream, and I was getting increasingly embarrassed. And then I said at the end of it, I said, "The good news is we've determined that I'm retarded." Um, that's the that's like probably one of the only examples of me uh, ever using this slur. Um, and. Uh, uh, part of the reason for that um, is, is uh, well, I mean, frankly, because I don't think the way that most people use the R slur is particularly rec reclamatory, okay? I've been seeing a lot of people, okay? Um, like a lot of people basically saying that if you have, if you're autistic or if you have ADHD, or if you have learning disabilities, that that means that you can just t sort of take the word retard and you can throw it at anybody else whenever you want. Um, and uh, and I just, I just, that's not what reclamation means. Uh, and I have a problem with that argument. I think that argument is a weak argument. And interestingly, I think most of the people who use it know that it's not a good argument because you wouldn't say the same thing about the word faggot. You wouldn't say the same thing about the N-word. Um, and yet we see tons of people basically say, well, I have ADHD, which means that I can call you a uh, stupid fucking retard, or I can say that's fucking stupid and retarded. But I just, I don't believe that. I don't think that that argument holds very much water with regard to how we treat other slurs. Now, um, there's, there's, there's a whole lot of like, there's a whole lot of back and forth over this issue. Um, and I don't wanna just m make a claim out of hand. So I'm going to try and, and evidence here why I think um, that people should think about this a little bit harder. Um, so, 
a lot of people will bring up ableism and whatever. And I do think that ableism is a huge problem, okay? Um, but at least for me, when I think about ableism, most of what I think about is the way that our society treats people with disabilities. Um, the fact that like disabled people uh, have a uh, significantly higher rate of early uh, uh, death, that uh, disabled people have a higher rate of homelessness, that dis disabled people are more likely to be discriminated against on the job, that disabled people are more likely to be denied a job, that disabled people often uh, do not, uh, are not accommodated for even when the law says that they have the legal right to be accommodated for. Um, that, that that there's all kinds of things there. That's what I tend to think of when I think of ableism. I don't really tend to think of um, of ableism through the lens of, of like insults as frequently, though I do think that it's a valid lens. And I want to bring attention to the fact that like there are all kinds of ableist words in our language that are that are definitionally, as far as I can tell, you know, ableist, stupid dumb, idiotic, insane, uh, deranged. In fact, most insults that you can think of that are, that aren't, uh, that aren't like, um, I don't know, like you muffin, you're such a, you're such a, you're such a clap cobbler. You're, you're a, you're a, you're a, cr a, a fr fr fuck crustable, cr a cromulent fuck crustable. Like there's no, like, most of the insults have some component of implied ableism, okay? Nanners, uh, uh, you know, whatever. There's a million of them. Um, stupid, idiot. I mean, these all have, uh, have aspects of, um, of, of ableism in them. But there's a pretty marked difference between the word stupid and the word retarded especially if you consider social context. The words stupid and dumb and idiot have not been used in any sort of like medical terminology for a very long time. They've more or less come to mean someone who is um, not thinking at the moment. Uh, like you say someone is stupid because what you actually mean generally is that they are, they are ill-informed, they are not thinking, or maybe even they're being dishonest uh, and it's making them behave stupidly. Uh, very few people when they say the word stupid are like traveling back in time to 1920 where they're drawing like a, a, a formerly medicalized diagnosis of stupidity or something along those lines. And the same thing goes for the word idiot. Uh, idiot used to be a direct reference to a certain type of autism, the idiot savant, um, which is a, a term that is so outdated that like multiple generations have not lived through a time in which it was used in any sort of medicalized sense. Um, but that's not true about retard. Um, like, Retard has been used uh, medicalized recently, and what's more is that it has been used deliberately against people who have been medicalized even after the end of its medicalized use. Nobody uses the word mentally retarded anymore. Um, even though in the 90s it was acceptable, it was still considered medically acceptable to, st to say mentally retarded. A lot of us alive lived in a period in which it was still considered medically acceptable to say that somebody who was struggling with learning disabilities or had Down syndrome, that they were mentally retarded. Um, but even that with that aside, um, the word retard has carried on in its use directly against people who just have a learning disability or people who have Down syndrome or autistic people. I mean, I bet right now I could I could do a show of hands. Okay, do not respond in the audience right now if you're not autistic or ADHD. But if you are autistic or ADHD, just, just put a number one in chat. Put a single one in chat. If you have had, if you have had a loved one, friend, teacher, whatever, Use, there we go, look, just the chat's going crazy, okay? There is no, uh, there is no uh, lack of clarity with what people mean 
when they say the word retard. We know, like, it is being used in a way that is comparing people to someone who shouldn't be, that it's not a bad thing. To, it's not a bad thing to have a learning disability. It's not a bad thing. Um, like, it's not a, 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 uh, a, a, an evil thing. It's not a morally bad thing to uh, to ha to be autistic. It's not an, a morally bad thing to be ADHD. It's not a morally bad thing to have Down syndrome. These are not morally bad things. And there's no, uh, at least in the colloquial, there's essentially no distinction between the way that it's used. Would you hold the same position about the word lame? I realize its origins are a bit more dated than retarded, but it's always been used in an inflammatory way against disabled people. Well, if you think about what people say, when, I mean, okay, to me, uh, at like going back quite a long time, the word lame actually like doesn't really reference, uh, doesn't really reference the same thing anymore, right? Like when people say, "Ooh, that album was kind of lame. I didn't really like it." Uh, they mean they mean it's kind of like boring or uninteresting or like. And I think there are problems with it. I think there are problems with all kinds of insults. I think most insults have a problem. It means uncool. Yeah, it means like, and and I would say that that is like a a totally transformed meaning. It's the same word, but with a completely um, transformed meaning. And uh, same thing goes for idiot, by the way. Idiot used to literally, literally mean um, uh, 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 autistic a form of autistic, and now when people say idiot, it means like, if you think of the word idiot, most people think of someone like swinging a, like swinging a big stick around and then accidentally knocking down their, you know, putting out a window or, or hitting their friend in the head or knocking something down. That's what most people think of is like, it means you're being careless or it means you're being thoughtless um, as opposed to, um, you know, literally trying to say somebody has, um, uh, you know, autism or whatever. But I don't think the same can be said in good faith about the word retard. The word retard is still to this day weaponized by parents, teachers, friends, against people with extremely minor social and intellectual uh, uh, disabilities. And sometimes just the perception of those things, not even necessarily an actual thing. Um. And also, there's another aspect that I want to discuss here, okay? Which is that I think the word retard, uh, I think that, I mean, given the fact that there are 800 people watching my stream in which I titled it retard, um, I think that it provokes a significantly stronger uh, emotional response from most people. Um, in in uh, in most social circumstances, I don't think that we've moved away from the stigma of the word even a little bit. Um, think about this: if you were sitting, I, I just want you to imagine something. Okay, hold on a second. Let me just just take a second and ride with me here. Okay, I want all of you to honestly just take a breath and put yourself in a situation where you're sitting in a park. Okay, you're reading a book in the park, and you over here there is a kid swinging a stick around and the kid is almost hitting the little kid's sibling, and the kid's mom walks over and says, hey, would you quit being an idiot? Versus if the mom walked over and said, quit being a retard. Tell me honestly that you don't see how the, di the difference in, in the way that would be re uh, received both by the kid and by onlookers. Can you imagine how you would feel if you were in the, I mean, be honest with yourselves, okay? I know there's a lot of like, like there's a lot of people out here who would call themselves retard users. You know, they use the word retard a lot. But but um, yeah, most people here are saying that like, there would be a pretty big difference. And I think most people would, would acknowledge that calling your kid an idiot is already a bad thing. But I think that calling your kid a retard would be significantly worse. And I think that sort of speaks to the severity of 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 how how strongly that word still has an impact on people. I mean, I remember most of the times in my life, not every time because it's happened a lot, especially online and online is a totally different beast. But I remember most of the times in my life when I was called a faggot. 
I remember when I had uh, friends and parents call me a faggot. I also remember when friends and, and family called me a retard. I don't remember being, I don't remember basically any of the times somebody said quit being stupid or don't be an idiot. I barely remember any of those, but I remember all of the other two. And I recognize that, um, uh, I, 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 uh, I recognize that like a lot of this is going to be gray areas. Um, I think this is the, I think this is the, uh, the, the, I think this is just a fact of language that there is never going to be hard objective lines for any of these things. Um, whatsoever. Um, you will never find like a perfect answer to questions of, of language, let alone questions of whether we should or shouldn't use it. But I think that we can acknowledge that, um, that there is a, at least for most people, there is still a very strong stigma, um, you know, a, a very strong stigma around this word. And also, I want to point out that like um there are there are people there are people with down syndrome who have gone on podcasts and given speeches specifically talking about the use of this word and how severely it is used to hurt them. So on a on another level there is this sort of osmosis effect where um I think that propagating a slur like that runs the risk of, of putting it into people's common parlance, which then does get used specifically against people who have traditionally been marginalized by that word. And it's sad. It's sad to see. It's sad to see that happen. It's sad to see someone's life um, be severely negatively impacted because of a word, of a single word for which we have thousands of other options. And uh, again, you guys all know, I am not exactly, um, uh, I am not exactly like super, super scoldy about anything. I don't uh, go after people for using the like certain terminology. I don't, I don't like, uh, I don't like put stars in the word stupid or, or and, and I often say that something is insane. I do try to avoid calling people insane, like calling people insane. And sometimes I'll call ideas insane and whatever, or say this is insane. But, um, but uh, it's, it's, this one, the, 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 the word retard seems to cross a lot of lines to me. And I, I, I have to say I've I've been a little bummed to see it's the the increase in its use. Somebody in chat here says it's dismissive to say those who have, have no issue with the words have never had it used against them. Some of us have just moved past it. I'm not saying it's bad that others haven't. No, hold on, hold on. Let me be clear real quick. Let me be clear about this. Um I have a really thick skin. I'm not kidding you when I say that every single day multiple slurs are used against me. If I, if online specifically, uh, if I go into my comments, there is a guarantee that I will, re I will have at least one comment uh, uh, every single day of somebody calling me some slur. Okay, it's really common. Uh, I don't really care, and the word retard doesn't offend me. I've said it a hundred times this stream. It's literally the title of my stream, and the word faggot doesn't offend me anymore. But that doesn't mean that I can't acknowledge what the intent behind it is. And also, it doesn't mean that I can't acknowledge that there is a sort of problem, you know, with the, uh, I don't know, with, with, with the normalization of its use. But also, I think that we should be honest with ourselves. One of the things that I think is most that 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 I find most frustrating. I've seen this all over the 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 YouTube comments, all over Twitter, all over everywhere where this discourse has been trending, uh, even in Discord, is that um, a lot of people simply aren't reclaiming the word. They say that they're reclaiming the word, but they're not. They're calling other people retarded. They're calling other people retards. That's not the same as reclaiming it for yourself. You are weaponizing it against someone else. That's not what reclamation is. It just isn't. I'm sorry. No matter how you feel, even if you feel that it's okay to call other people retards, 
um, that's not reclamation. Reclamation is not when you call other people the word. That's not how it works. And, and I find that very frustrating. I find it frustrating to see people over and over. I'm talking hundreds of people repeating the argument that, well, I have ADHD or, well, X person has ADHD, which means they can call other people retarded. No, if we were talking about reclamation, it would be, I can call myself retarded if I want to, which I can. And I strongly believe in that. I will call myself a retarded tranny faggot whenever the fuck I want to. Me. And and I don't know. I just it's a it, it feels like a a mental like a, a intellectually bankrupted form of the discourse to basically uh uh I don't know. It seems like it's an intellectually bankrupted form of discourse to make an argument over whether or not someone has a, a pass to use something that we can all acknowledge is a slur for all intents and purposes. And again, I've made my position clear on all kinds of other words, but I think it's I think it's fairly easy to come to the conclusion. I think it's fairly reasonable to come to the conclusion that uh, retard is a word that still bears uh, a lot of um, systemic backing, that still bears a lot of hateful backing in a way that stupid or idiot doesn't. Um, Stupid and idiot are have been watered down in their definitions to such a degree that even though I agree that there are problematic elements of those insults, um, that they're just not the same. They don't function the same way that they used to, but that is definitely not true um, for the word retard. Oh, and by the way, um, if you don't believe me, just go in a, just just go into a next time you're at work, uh, uh, say something is stupid versus say something is in a public place say something is stupid versus say something is retarded and see what other people like normie i mean i highly doubt that any person who here works works in like the sjw capital of the world i have a feeling that you won't be brave enough to fucking drop the r slur in a public place but most people would be like ah this stupid computer in fact, some people might get fucking fired. I'm sure some some people work in an environment where it's acceptable. I'm sure some people uh, do, but... Question, did you agree with the Thought Slime's whole Nanners thing? No, I really didn't. Because I don't think that Nanners uh, is is can be reasonably uh, defined as a slur. I don't I don't mind if Thought Slime um, like doesn't want to use words like that. Like obviously you have every right, but I just I don't think that you can make the same case for Nanners that you can for something else. Um, you know. I just don't think it reaches that level. I don't even think, I think it's distanced in multiple ways. Like bananas, yeah, like bananas, yes. Well, I just talked about crazy. I see some people asking about crazy. Um, and I think, uh, uh, and, and I also see people talking about idiot and stupid. And I do think that like, like don't get me wrong. I think there are problems with these insults. Um, but I think that the difference between an insult is a, and a slur is generally, um the, there's there's a historical precedent and there is a uh and there is also like con contextual uh elements that matter and i i just i think there's a very the argument i've been making this entire time is that i i think that the the that retard is severely more harsh than basically any insult that we see thrown around and also that it has a more significant negative effect on random people um, that are not your target. Um, I don't really care if somebody calls a Nazi a retard. Uh, I don't really care what people call Nazis. There's all kinds of things. But I think that um, that if you get into the habit of calling things retarded in the same level of, um, of, of frequency, in the same level of... of, uh, 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 of, of treatment as like a word like stupid um 
I think that you run the risk of hurting more people. There are a lot of people who've been hurt by the word retard. I mean, I just did a little quick off the hand chat poll, um, which I hope that everyone who watches this video is gonna see live. You know, they're gonna see it, the numbers go flying as how many people have had it weaponized against them. Posadas John says, do you think that it could become the new idiot? Like it, once it's not medical institution stopped using, so did everyone else, it just lost it over time. Well, I don't think that idiot was ever used to the same degree. Um, like it never, like idiot never had the same connotation, if that makes sense. Um, uh, so I don't know if it ever will. Like at the moment, like there would have to be like, I don't know. I, I feel like, uh, I feel like people would, um, I, I don't know. I, I feel like, like it would have to, there would have to be a period where people stopped using it for it to stop having its impact. But as it stands right now, it's just like continually coming back, right? And keep in mind that like, I don't even think that people should be like canceled over this word. I just, what I'm, my argument here is that I think that people should be a little bit more honest and not pretend that they're reclaiming a word when they're using it against other people. And also that people should be thoughtful about whether or not they really want to use that word. Like, are we gaining that much? What's the gain? We ha there are so many good insults that you can use. There's tons that are super hard hitting. Um, and I don't know, like, I don't see anybody uh, trying to defend, like, the use of the word faggot as an insult, ever. I've never seen anyone besides, like, actual Nazis trying to defend the use of the word faggot as an insult. I think, I, I don't use it, but that's the intention, I think, when people use it. It isn't meant to call people disabled. I disagree. Um, and in fact, it's really funny. If you guys go and watch right wing creators, look at when right look at what right wing creators do when they use um, when they use the word retard. Because uh, you know, unlike other slurs where the left and right have been decided, like for example, um, you know, right wingers don't give a shit about using the word tranny or faggot, right? But uh, because you know that they they're decided on that the left will not use those terminology but the right will um, but the left right at the moment there's a lot of lefties who will use the word retard and there's a lot of righties that will use the word retard and if you go uh, and obviously the word retard is used more popularly on the right and if you go and look at what people do when they I mean I could probably search it right now um, you want to know what in person what type of impersonations people do. You want to know the noises and the impressions that people do when they call people retarded? You guys know exactly what I'm talking about. I don't even need to, I don't even have to show you. You all know exactly what I'm talking about. So I just do not think, uh, yep, every single, yep. Skunksy says nearly every time the R slur is used like outside of like progressives who ironically use the R word, they do a mocking voice. Sometimes even progressives do that. Yeah. So I just don't think that, um, I, I, I just, I just don't think that the idea that it's distanced from its original meaning, I don't think that's true. I don't think you, I don't think there's enough evidence to point that it's been distanced from its original meaning. Yeah, Adam Sandler movies? Yeah. Lithium555 says, I disagree that the R slur would have to stop being used as an insult for it to become not a slur. However, it would have to stop being used to target people because they're neurodivergent, which doesn't seem like it's going to happen in the next decade. I don't think it will. I really don't think it will. DC, DCL... Uh, DCL Junior 33 says, I think the word I use most instead of insane or bananas or anything like that is wild. Or, um, yeah, another one people use is unhinged. Uh, and, and I actually think that unhinged is usually a better replacement for things like crazy or insane, even though I do use crazy and insane. I'll, I'll load up to that. Um, um, and, uh, 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 
and I think the reason why is because like unhinged means like you're uh, you're you're not under you're you're acting at, like out of your own control. You've lost control of your emotional state. It's more of a a, a an imp like impugning someone for uh, for being out of control and and lashing out at others as opposed to some sort of like commentary on their state of sanity. Uh, the moment we start drawing lines be between what can be used and what shouldn't be used, we get people doing bad faith arguments about what slurs they can use. Well, that's why I don't really care. I don't really, there's no, it's language. There's no objective lines that can ever be drawn. Like, it is very difficult to make a objective moral argument about language, so I'm not even going to bother. I'm making a case for why I think that calling people retarded and calling people retards is not really efficacious and is is mean-spirited and does collateral damage. Um, you know? Like, I think it does. Uh, and, and I think that people who care about that sort of thing should pay attention to that. And I just, when people, there, I know that there's going to be people there who say that like, oh, well, stupid and idiot are the same thing, but I just don't agree. I just do not think that most people uh, 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 like have the same attachment to those words, like by far. I think that the vast majority of people, I don't think that most people that you've met have been called an idiot in the same way that they've been called a retard in their life. Um, because being called a retard is basically a universal experience for anyone with ADHD or autism. Um, being called a retard by somebody who you're supposed to be able to trust is an almost universal experience for people who have ADHD or autism um, to, the, to the degree that like idiot and stupid is not. Like idiot and stupid, every single person on the planet has been called stupid or has called someone stupid in their entire life. Um, not, but, but not everyone on the planet has been called a retard by, by somebody who, uh, you know, it's used for bullying. It's not idiot and stupid are like insults in general, but they're very generalized insults. Every single person comes into contact with those all the time. And that's not the case for the word retard. I just don't think it has the same hit. I mean, I feel like probably everyone has been called a retard at least once. Yeah, but I mean, come on, it's not the same thing. When look to 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 send the point home, um, when I was younger, a lot of people used the word like "that's retarded, bro." That's retarded. Um, but it was it was seen as a insult that was almost exclusively used by older kids and exclusively used by uh, like the edgiest kids, um, uh, and uh, and lots of people said it. Um, but interestingly, it was said in the it was said in the same way that words like cunt were said, where you would never say like it was never said when parents were around. It was never said around like younger kids unless it was being used to bully. Yeah. And wait, but also that's a great example. Hold on, people are bringing up that it was that a lot of people used to say that's gay. And yet, guess what? A lot of people have moved away from that too, haven't they? For pretty good reasons, right? Because like, um, calling somebody gay as if it's an insult is generally considered, a, it's like almost all of society will agree that that's not acceptable, right? I just, I think that people have moved past that. And some people use it like, uh, some people use it sort of facetiously uh, now, but very few people, like, how many people do you go and see, oh, that's, uh, have you ever f fucking t tuned in to your favorite, like, streamer or whatever and had them go, uh, this video, this video game is gay as fucking shit. It's the gayest fucking shit. You're a gay motherfucker. Fuck you, you gay ass piece of shit. You would think that would be pretty weird. I think most people would re would respond to that pretty weird, especially on the left. People would respond that to that pretty weirdly.
Mixed Dizzy says, I get the sense we tend to use retard a lot more for bullying AMAB kids, and it could be a difference in gendered child culture. As someone who grew up more in childhood girl culture, I heard the word retard used a lot less when I was around older boys. That's actually an experience I had as well. Um, when I was in high school, you know, I, I'm trans. When I was in high school, I lived uh, outwardly as a boy. Um, one of the, the, in the later, uh, the latter half of high school, I hung out with a group of, a friend group that was almost entirely comprised of girls. This was in the later half. They never used the word retard. They also never called anything gay. It was very strange. Um, and yet, uh, among the, 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 the guy friend groups that I had previously hung out with, uh, they were really, first of all, they were horrible to each other. They were physically abusive to one another, but they were also verbally abusive to one another all the time. And calling somebody a gay faggot or calling somebody a retarded gay faggot was really common. Use of the R slur seems really heavily tied to hypermasculinity. I'm sure this isn't universal, but I think it. I think it speaks to the types of. I think it speaks to the types of uh, of the way that the word is used. That the word is used in sort of uh, masculine dominance, uh, and or, or I should say, not even just masculine dominance, but it's used in dominance plays more than other words. That's why I want to use these words. They can be transmuted from lead to gold. Can they? Do you genuinely believe that calling other people retarded all the time is actually going to reclaim the word? Or is it just going to ensure that it maintains its status as a slur that is hurtful to people? I just, uh, I just don't buy it. I don't buy that it's useful. I don't buy that we get, I don't buy the idea that we gain anything from it. I don't think that, um, I don't think that anybody gains anything from using the R slur. Like calling people retarded, um, I don't think anybody gains anything from that. But I do know, by the way, I, I am very convinced of the fact that self-referentially using slurs can be a rallying cry. When I stand up and say I am a proud faggot, I know that people can gain strength from that because it's taking an insult that's used against them and turning it into a piece of armor, a thing that makes you stronger. But I don't think that's true for just saying calling people retards randomly. I guess we would lose a slur if it worked. Yeah, but I just I just don't buy that using the slur in the exact same way that that people who use it, you know, like like what what is the can, can anybody elucidate me to the difference between Steven Crowder calling uh liberals retarded versus I don't know, a lefty calling Republicans retarded? Is that not just is that ju not just reinforcing its use as the exact same thing? I, I don't know that there's, oh, the F slur. Uh, I mean, the F slur, I mean, I think the F slur has already been reclaimed. I think that the F slur has been reclaimed for a long time. Um, even normies, even like, even some conservatives, like, well, actually, no, most conservatives, uh, the average conservative is not okay with calling gay people faggots. The average conservative, like, if you were to go into a workplace, no one, if you were in a workplace and you called, you said, ah, my stupid phone, uh, they're, they're gonna be, nobody is gonna bat an eye. But if you said this stupid fucking faggot phone, even conservatives would feel uncomfortable with that. Like, I'm talking bog standard conservatives, not like, not like hardliners. Um, you know what I mean? Yeah, I just, I just feel like, I just, I don't know.
Ducky Lucy Hayes says, interestingly enough, and, uh, Lucy met bog standard conservatives from the US that were not okay with the arsler. Oh, my parents used to get mad at me. My very conservative parents used to used to get mad at me because it was unchristian. In their mind, it was unchristian to to use to call people retarded. So they hated it when when you know my friends would use that word. But that's kind of a an odd example. I don't know. I don't know for sure how that is. Okay, Capo. Capo brings up something really good. Capo says, the average conservative isn't actually offended by, by the word faggot. The average conservative knows better than to not act like they are in public. But that's the difference, right? Isn't that exactly what I was talking about? That's, that's, that's exactly what I was talking about with the N-word. That we've created a line. That there is a societally understood line that is taught to people that says, hey, if you, are, if you don't belong to this identity group, you have no right using a word that was used to hurt that identity group. And you especially have no right to use it against somebody else. And I think that is a, an important line with regard to reclamation. Like, I, I think that, um, uh, yeah, no, that's fair, Capo. I was agreeing with you. I think you're right on the money there. Um, yeah. Susan Q says, hell no, nah, brother. We have the right to refuse service to anyone, and we do not tolerate that type of chicanery in this fine establishment. No, sir. Yeah. So, anyway, all of this is to say, uh, I, I think that people should, I, I, I'm never going to cancel someone for having different differences of opinion on certain words. Um, I will say certain slurs, I think you deserve to get canceled over. Uh, I don't know that I believe that the word retard is, is like, uh, if, if it's valuable to, to like, to hyper police people on it, but I would like to urge people to think a little bit harder. And please, one thing I must insist, um, uh, one, one thing I must insist on is please stop fucking lying to yourselves. Do not tell me that you are reclaiming a word when you say, when you call someone else a slur. You're not reclaiming a slur by using it to fucking diminish somebody else. You're not, uh, you're not reclaiming uh, uh, the tea slur by calling somebody else a fucking tranny uh, because you're mad on a live stream or you're mad on twitter.com and you're not reclaiming the word retard by calling other people retards. Like, like, honestly, please just stop. It's such a bad argument and it, and it makes you, it makes you, I know that 90% of the people who are making that argument aren't doing so genuinely that, 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 that they know that that's not what reclamation means. Um, I, I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to like not be your friend or whatever. If you, if you use words that I don't agree with necessarily, um, I would like to urge people to be a little more thoughtful about it and perhaps consider whether they're actually getting the value from it that they seem to, that they think they are. But I will get very annoyed if you have a very shitty argument for why you're using that thing. Um, God, it drives me crazy.